Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> this is Ben here, aka Notions One, and this is a follow up review of my Thunder Tiger EB4 G3. It is a shaft driven four wheel drive buggy, eighth scale, brushless. It's a pretty fast and very, very solid machine. Visit thundertiger.com for more information. As you can see, it's got a really nice shed on it. I like the really the yellow and white, really striking, striking. And the little patterns here, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, so that's enough for the show. It's got big ball dampers, shock absorbers, uh, 19, uh, sorry, 17 inch hex on the on the wheels. Tires seem to hold up. This has been ran on the road a lot in the wet and the dirt, and the wheels haven't fallen off. So. Must, but I have had to do them up a couple of times. Make sure they're done up a couple of times before you take it out. You do not want to lose a wheel. You won't have to replace all four. Anyway, I take all all all. I take the shell off and show you what's underneath. I have upgraded this buggy, so. First thing you'll notice is this cover. This is to protect the in electronics. And just, I don't really know what it's for other than to protect the electronics. But it's a very good idea and I like it. So, this is it. Takes four cell LiPo with the stock ESE. But I'm not running the stock ESC. I'm running a. If you don't know if you can see that. It's a Turnergy. One and eighth scale. ESC. Brushless ESC system. And this is good. It's got. What are called. Banana plugs. You get these on hi-fi systems, and there's a positive one, just goes it in into the into the hole, and you just push it down, it clamps in. So I'm running two 4400 milliamp hour Turnergy batteries in here, so this will be upside down for you, so... I'm not taking that out because it's a tight fit because I've had to put some wires underneath plastic which is why it's not coming out. I'm still running the stock motor, 2000 kV ripper motor. The switch went on it so I'm sending that back to model store and getting a replacement. It's not actually the switch, it's, sorry, the ESE. The switch went on the ESE. Which is a bit weird, but yeah, it happened. So after this bank holiday weekend coming up, I'm going to get that back to Model Sport and get a replacement. And put it in this. This is a HPI Sprint 2. Don't know if it will fit, but I'm going to try. It'll be an ACRC ESE. All this... This car comes with a lot of ACRC equipment. Nothing wrong with it. I got an ACRC Cougar GP3 transmitter, and obviously, not obviously, but the receiver is is ACRC again, which isn't a bad thing. I think this makes perfectly adequate. And you can see it's been used by the amount of mud and dirt uh, all over it. Could do with a clean, but I don't think I'll get around to it. I'm just going to let it be dirty. 
because it's going to get dirty again, so what's the point of washing it? It's like, uh, we live down the lane, what's the point of washing the car? It's just going to get dirty next time we go out, if, when it's been raining. It's got a digital servo, but it's a DS1510 MG or something. Oh, yeah. I can't read that. UG. No, NG. Ah, I think I need some glasses. A digital HRC servo. So it, it, it's a lot faster steering than a standard one. And the motor is pretty much mid mounted, I would say. Which isn't too unusual, but it's a good idea. And I think that's a uh, that's a, the spur gear and the pinion gear. This has been upgraded. I've upgraded the gear in this, so that's a six tooth. That's six tooth, a twenty tooth pinion gear, and I'm not sure what tooth the, the standard spur is, but it's the standard one. I don't really want to have to change that because it is a big, quite a big job. And if I mess it up, I might end up avoiding the warranty by breaking something else. So I'm keeping that as standard as it is not exactly slow. It goes, well, someone on YouTube posted one with a 19 tooth pinion and I'm running a 20 tooth. And they got 53 miles an hour. So I reckon I'll get 55 miles an hour. Maybe 56 or 57 with my 20 tooth. Probably 50 actually, but I'm just exaggerating. Yeah, nice tyres. These tyres seem to hold up really well to to being on the road, doing donuts, burnouts, thrashing it along the road. Still, still holds up fine. No, no tyres coming off the rim or anything at the moment. So that's all good. Uh, yeah. Other than the problem with the switch of the ESC, I've had no problems with it. Very reliable. It's a dependable machine. And I'm trying to think of any bad things about it. That's why I'm talking slow. But I'm struggling. The radio gear, I suppose. I suppose the transmitter could have a LCD display on it. But it doesn't and that's the way it is. You can still adjust pretty much the same thing, you just can't store 15 radio control cars, but I don't really like that anyway, I like a separate transmitter for each radio control car. It's just, it's just the way I like it, the old school way. Yeah, I recommend getting some decent batteries for this. Because you got a decent car, you might as well get decent batteries to go with it. Really, the control car is only as good as its weakest component. Like a computer, it's only as good as its weakest component. So if the weakest component is the batteries, it's only as good as the batteries. If you use some shitty, shitty make batteries with, with a really low uh, burst rate and low residual uh, right, or if it's all, it ain't, it ain't gonna be the same as with this, with the uh, 120 C burst and 60 C for normal use. So, that's not bad. Anyway, I, I'm really impressed with this buggy and as you can see, a lot of mud on the spoiler there. It's all good. More mud, more fun you've had. We mate met racing my mates. Uh, what is it? It's an EB. It's a Emax Traxxas. It's an American mate Traxxas Traxxas Emax, and he's running a Mamba Max Pro with a two two hundred kV motor and six cell. And this thing, with the 13 tooth stock pinion, was keeping up of him. And he blew, he blew a rear diff. He blew the rear diff. 
because it's got too much power for its own good. It just went. So he was there for four wheel drive, front wheel drive. Sorry, I'm going wrong here. I need to end it because I'm tired. Yeah, so. Anyway, I'm impressed with this buggy and I will recommend it to anyone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And this is my review after bashing. Please subscribe, rate this video if you would, and comment below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day, and take it easy. Goodbye.